Hello, you wonderful people. I want to share one of my projects that I've been preparing for a course that I'm going to do on Strapi 5 and I needed a front end project. So I decided to build it with Astro first, but in this video, I want to give you a quick overview of the project and show you how you can set it up locally. So here is the project I have running in development. Notice that we have a homepage that consists of a landing page. And the reason why I wanted to share this project is because I wanted to show you how you could easily build informational websites. So if you either wanted to freelance for someone who has a smaller project, you could use this template to get you started. And also for anybody who's kind of interested how to use Strapi Headless CMS and use it part of their project, you could use it with any framework, but in this case, I'm using Astro. And if you take a look in my Strapi application, if you go to content manager, here's the content types and collections that we have. We have a landing page and the landing page is responsible for all the content that you see here on the front page where a non-technical person could easily go ahead and make the changes and updates. It consists of different blocks that I created and you could explore this project on my own and I will release a proper course that I'm going to start recording next week and sharing these videos with you on a weekly basis. So if you're not subscribed and you're interested in that, you could subscribe. You don't have to though. But, and as I finish all the videos, then I'll put them into one completed video. Cause I know some people like to see a whole six hour, 10 hour, 50 billion hour long video, but I'm going to show you how I've done that. But here in the landing page, all the data is coming from Strapi and this is what you see here being rendered to our screen. Also for our pages, they're dynamic. For instance, if I go to about page, you could see that I have this data here. And if you go to our Strapi instance, if I go to page, notice that I have my about page and I have my uh, demo page that we don't have a link for here on the front end, which is okay. But if you take a look at the about page, notice that it just has this one block with the image of the person, Jackie Brown, hello, you wonderful person, backend developer, and this is exactly what you see here. And what's cool, if you wanted to add additional content, for instance, I wanna add a heading, I could go ahead here in the blocks, I could click on heading section, and here I could add my heading by saying, this is a heading, and uh, you could add an anchor link, uh, not necessary here at the moment, subheading will say subheading and then when i say publish right when i go back to my astro application because this is astro you need to rebuild your project to pull the data because it's technically generated so i can quickly go ahead and restart my project and now when it refreshes you could see that we have this subheading so notice how a non-technical user is able to easily add data now because this is statically generated after every change we have to rebuild our astro app but the benefits of having a statically built app, it is really fast and quick to load your data because all the items have been pre-generated. You saw that I have in pages, I have this demo page. And the way I set up this application, let's add another component here just so we have something show up visibly. If I go, let's add a hero section. I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is a heading. This is some text. I will add a link, you know, HTTPS. Let's go strappy.io. Let's make it learn more. And let's say it's external. And we're going to say it's primary to give it that green uh, styling. And let's add an image. I'm going to look here. I'm going to add this green image, click finish. Now, when I go publish, we do have this page that is automatically created because it's stored in our Strapi collection types. I restart my application. I could go slash demo and it'll take us to that demo page that you see that we created here. But if I want to easily add links here in the header, you can do this through your Strapi application. All of that data is stored here in global. And so if I go to my nav items, I'm going to add another entry and I'm going to say it's going to be a link to my demo page that we just created. I'm going to say demo page and I'm going to kind of move it here right uh, after about click publish. Now back in our application, if I refresh, notice we have that link here. So notice these pages I'm able to add dynamically from Strapi and they're going to render here on our screen. And as you saw here, our page, if we take a look at the content type builder, if we take a look at uh, page 
collection type. It consists of title, description, slug, and then we have all these blocks that your non-technical user can use to easily create their content. So you don't have to, as a developer, constantly add that for them. They could do it themselves. And that's the power of the headless CMS. And so going back to our blog page, we have our blog section here. This is pulling data by pulling all of our block content collection types. So if you take a look at our articles, we are hitting the endpoint that will go ahead and pull all of our data. We even include pagination here uh, where you could paginate through your items. Now, when we click on the article, it'll take you to the single uh, blog view page here that you could check out. And if we take a look and strappy in our article and pick any one of them, you could see that we have the title, description, the slug, the feature, we have content, but we also added an author that we could add. And we also added a featured article section as our blocks, which shows three of our favorite articles that we like to share. And if you click on add component blocks, you could see that we could add any other additional blocks. And just a reminder, when you make changes, you do need to restart your application because the way this is working in Astro is this right now is treated as a static built site. So we need to make sure that we get all the data and we generate all the items on build time. And if you were to deploy this to production, you would have a hook that would basically trigger your site to rebuild, to include all the changes. And you could learn more about the differences between static site build versus server side rendered. But I decided to go with Astro because it makes things much easier. And right now I'm going to show you how to set up this repo so you could get started. You could of course follow the amazing readme. I don't know if it's amazing, but I created a readme here that kind of gives you a brief uh, overview of how to set this repo up, but I'm going to walk you in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the code button and I'm going to get the link that we need. I'm going to jump in into my terminal. And before I do that, let me stop my old project because I want to show you how easy it is to set it up here. And to get started with this project, what I'm going to do is get clone and paste the URL to my project that we just copied. It's going to go ahead and pull all of our project code. If you CD into the project, Astro Strap Examples Project, I'm going to clear the screen. If you do cat package JSON, notice that here we have a couple of scripts we have set up to set up our dependencies, both for our Astro app and our Strapi project. And then we have the seed command that's going to seed all of our dummy data. So that's what we're going to do. So in the root of my project, I'm going to run yarn setup. This is going to go and install all the dependencies for our Astro and our Strapi project. Once everything is done, we could run yarn seed to seed our dummy data that I have here. Once all the data is imported, I'm going to open the project in VS Code first. So I could walk you through some of the code, but before we do that, we could start our project by running yarn dev. This is going to start both our strappy server and our front end. Because this is your first time starting the project, you would have to create your first admin user. So go ahead and do that and make sure that you use a very secure password like monkey1234. Why not? And then when you log in, you're going to see the strappy dashboard area, which will have all the content here, our articles, our author, our pages, our tags, um, user. I didn't implement in this project, but you could have users that use your app. We have our global page, which basically is responsible for our logo, our header navigation items, our footer navigation items, as well as our banner that you see at the top of our page. Our landing page is obviously responsible for our landing page data from our hero section, our heading section. So it's, it's all the data that you see on the front end. So pretty much everything that we see on our front end, you could manage here in Strapi. Once Strapi is ready to go, you will find your front end on localhost port 4321. So if I open that, you'll see that you'll see your Astro project with all the data coming from the landing page our about section. And because I just pulled this project brand new, it doesn't have the things that I showed you earlier, like our demo page, uh, because this is a fresh project that we just pulled from the repo just to show you how to set it up. If I go to the blog, you'll see our blog. The pagination should still work. Everything should work as expected. You click on read more, you'll be able to see your blog. And if you have any questions or 
have any suggestions, you could open up an issue here and add things maybe you want to see in the future. Or if you want me to answer some questions, you can do that too. So go ahead and check out this project. There's so many frameworks out there. I wanted to pick Astro because it is one of the, in my sense, easiest projects to get started with if you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because you're really not doing anything crazy outside of running some basic JavaScript. You would add your styling either with Tailwind or CSS, but you do it in a very easy way. So let me show you some examples here. I went ahead and opened my project in VS Code. If we take a look at the client folder, this is where all of our Astro code lives. Server is our strappy backend where we didn't do anything fancy because all the collection types and content types, we created it from our strappy admin, which is kind of nice. But here in Astro, if we take at the source and we look at the layout, this is our main layout, which has our header, banner, and footer. This is what you see, our header, our banner, our footer. This is coming from our layout, which is pulling data from our strappy application. Get global data is just making a request to our strappy app via strappy SDK, which you could find in the utils folder under loaders. You could see that here we have a couple of different functions that are responsible for getting our strappy data, depending on the data that we're getting. And all of this is made easy by using our strappy SDK that we're pulling here at the top. So if you go to strappy client, you could notice that I am pulling our strappy SDK client and this um, instantiating the instance of the strappy client and passing the URL. And then if we take a look at the loaders, I'm importing that client and I'm using it to load and get the data that we see. So back in our layout page, notice that I'm just pulling the function to fetch the data and I am literally calling that function and I'm getting that data and I'm able to access the data here in the HTML like syntax is really close to HTML. It's not true HTML because it allows you to write JavaScript within your code and use components like Astro components. But what I like about it, everything else is very similar to what HTML would look like. So if you're coming right out of HTML and basic CSS and JavaScript, this is fairly straightforward. And here we're saying, if there's a banner, go ahead, display the banner. We have our header and footer while we're passing the data. So this lab is responsible to adding our header, our banner, our footer to all of the other pages and the children are passed via the slot attribute. So back in our pages folder, if we navigate to our index page, notice that we're importing our base layout, which is basically will render our header, footer, and banner at the top of our website. And then here I'm passing my block renderer. If you're wondering what block renderer is, it's a component that I made that makes it easier for us to dynamically add the blocks to our page. So if you're taking a look at our homepage here, notice all of these different sections, right? The hero section, the heading, the card section with the cards across, image with text, all of these are different components which get rendered based on the blocks that we have here in our Strapi instance. So in our code, looking at the block renderer component, I am importing all of the different blocks that we use. I have an object here where we're able to look up the project, the component based on the block name. And here we have a map function, which maps to the response of our blocks. And based on the block that the response has, it will go ahead and render it and pass the data. So if there's a hero block in our response, it will go ahead and render our hero component. And if you take a look at the hero component, you could see that we're passing our data via props and we're adding that data inside our code. Taking a look at our about page, like I said, this is a dynamic page. So here in our Astra application, if we take a look in the pages folder, we have a folder within the brackets called slug. And this signifies a dynamic page slug that we want to look up the data by. So if you take a look at the index file here, because we're building everything statically first, the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting all the data from Strapi and I'm doing it in chunks of 25 items at a time. That way I'm not overburdening, you know, my API by trying to get a thousand items. 
and we're saving them to pages. Once we have all the data, we're basically using Astros create static path to create the static files that we will have in our app. And this will give us access to the content that we're just passing to our block renderer. Because if you take a look in our Strapi application and you take a look at our page and we pick any one of our page, our data is represented by these blocks that we're rendering to our component on the front end. And if you have any additional questions, you could always ask in the comments in this video, but I just wanted to give you just some general overview, even if you've never used Astro. Now, taking a look at the blog page, we have the index page, which basically gets all our data of our posts and it will display the cards for the post here. And we also have our pagination component that allows us paginate through our data. So this is the page that you see here. And so we are getting our data from Strapi. We are rendering here five items at a time because we have six blog posts. We have an additional page which has that sixth item. And again, I'm just kind of flying through this to give you just general context so you could kind of have general idea, but you don't have to understand everything. That's why I give you the code so you could play with it, explore it. And if you have questions, you could ask. And finally, when we click on the single blog post, if we take a look at it here, we are basically getting our data because everything is statically built. We are getting that data first, but then after build, when we match the slug, it will return just the data for the matching slug. And here we are showing our featured image. This is what you see here at the top. Then we have our user, our tag with our user info, with the author name, author image. We have the post title. This is what you see here, our tag, post title, our author image and name. And then if you scroll down here, we have our post content, which is this initial block. And then we also have the ability to add content via blocks like we've done in other places. So if we go to the article, we select any one of them. Notice we have our content, but we also have the blocks where you can add any one of the other blocks and render them by adding additional data. So that's the general overview of the project. I know I kind of breeze through it, but I want to give you some context. And if you've never done Astro, or never use the headless CMS, uh, maybe this might be like, oh, what the hell? This is a lot of stuff, but I hope you could see the value of using a headless CMS to manage your content and using a any framework. It could be Next.js, it could be Vue, it could be Svelte. In this example, I picked Astro and how you could combine the two and have an application where you as a developer don't have to manage the data, right? You literally have a backend our Strapi admin backend where a non-technical user could easily add new pages, new links, and new data. So if you're trying to build your own personal website or want to build some basic informational sites for freelancing, I think this is actually a pretty cool tech stack to play around with. So download the project, play with it. Let me know your comments or your thoughts. And if you're still like, what the hell is going on? Don't worry. I build this project first because in the next uh, couple of weeks, I'm going to start recording daily the tutorial first on how to set up our Strapi instance, how to think about structuring your data. I'll break it all down for you. I'll show you how to set up your collections, your content type, how to think about representing your data. And once our Strapi application is built, meaning our API is complete, we'll go through building out this Astro application. And the reason I'm going to start with Astro first, because it's very straightforward. And anyone who did basic HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, even if you're a beginner, you will be able to follow along fairly easily. But anyway, I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section. If you made it this long, oh my God, God bless you. And thank you so much. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.